right, so today we got a solve analysis. Um, if you don't know, I do solve analyses every Tuesday on my stream. Uh, subscribers submit their solves at uh, any speed. I tell them what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. Um, so that usually I analyze solves that are kind of done at the GoPro angle over the shoulder, real solves. Today I wanted to make a video for YouTube. I thought it would be cool to go ahead and analyze my own 159.95 7x7 world record. Um, I'll probably be doing these for public on YouTube as well in the future with other event with other solves made my own. Might ask Felix or Max or other top level keepers for some solves as well. But today we got a very a solve that's very special to me, my seven by seven record. Um, if you're interested in kind of what the normal ones look like because they're not on a reconstruction, obviously, uh, you can go ahead and check out uh, the playlist, which the link will be in the description. You can watch them all; they're unlisted, so they don't just show up. But that's where they are. Um, obviously, I would. I would prefer to do this obviously with an over the shoulder camera view, but it's impossible to really exactly see what I'm seeing. So I'm not gonna be able to give any real feedback or kind of analysis on this unless you can see what I'm seeing, which is the great thing about the reconstruction. Super big shout out to Breastkeeping for reconstructing this. Uh, probably took, I don't know how long it took him exactly, but seven by seven solves are pretty tricky to reconstruct. He also did it in actual execution so he can be fumble around uh, on doing some stupid stuff in this. But um, yeah, so here we go. Um, we got a uh, we got yellow center start. Um, looks pretty pretty standard here. Um, nothing too special about this. Make the first bar. Middle bar is always is pretty good to go first. Um, I definitely knew that this this bar was gonna get set up next nicely. Kind of a lot of moves to the first two bars, but you know it's uh it wasn't too bad. It's kind of qu pretty quick. This right here is. What was I doing? I don't even know. This is garbage. This right here is me fumbling around. Okay, I knew that piece was going to be there. Uh, that was probably a miss, miss slip with the hand. Uh, so this is interesting. Um, I I made sure when I did the slices, I kept these two pieces right here because you don't want your white set. You don't want the center of your building the pieces to be on the U face. So I kept them in the E layer. Uh, this is nice because now you're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and build this center right here. And I noticed also kind of a quick thing to notice that's important. So you notice I look up here and I see, oh, there's oh, there's two pieces? I only bring one. I bring one of the pieces down because bringing pieces down off the U layer is always just a good idea. Um, I don't bring them all down, unfortunately. Let's see if I'm smart and bring the last one down. I'm not that smart. It's okay. Not that big of a deal. This is good. I set up for a cancellation. Uh, if you notice, I did a slice move to do that because that kept the corner in the right spot, which is important. And now I can finish out the first center pretty quickly. I guess this one's not more of an analysis, it's more of just kind of a walkthrough of exactly what's going on, but the other ones are more analysis style. So here, so here I probably should have done, um, so in this case I probably should have seen this and gone ahead and done this second white bar right here, but I kind of had already seen that most of the first, the middle bar was already solved, and it's always a good idea to do the middle bar first, so I went ahead and did the middle bar. Um, not too big of a deal, but, you know. Perfect, uh, this is certainly not, I no solve is perfect, um, as you're definitely going to see here, um, but there's there's plenty of room to make mistakes. A lot of times, as long as you, a lot of times committing, committing to doing one thing correctly, or one thing, committing to doing something even if it's a little slower is better than fumbling around and not knowing what you're doing. Obviously, the perfect solution is committing immediately to the best option, but that's not always possible. All right, built this. Uh, insert uh, like an idiot for some reason. Man, I'm bad. Pull out that bar, so now this works nicely here. This was interesting, but it kind of works out. This is important. So this is important, I think, in general. So I see I have these two pieces right here, right? And you're like, oh, why are you going to pull these out? You have this corner, you're putting the corner in the top layer. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm swapping this corner being in the E layer for these two pieces. A corner being in the U layer is way better because you can put, even if you have a corner in the U layer at the very end, you can still insert your final bar by using uh, quick RU moves. And it's not that big of a deal. While if you have these middle pieces in the, in the top layer, that's really bad. Oh, and then I pulled the corner right out immediately, so. This is pretty easy. Uh, that is rotated. That was nice. Uh, so far, just in general, I mean, this is obviously a really good solve for me. 
Um, the reduction in general was really fast because I fumbled the three by three stage. The reduction was like on pace, like a 156, which is a great solve, great redux. Um, I'll talk about where I'm getting lucky. Uh, no, there's no, the luck, there hasn't been any big luck here. As you saw, the first center was pretty standard. Um, I don't, it wasn't difficult, but it wasn't too easy. Probably 60th percentile, so definitely on, definitely better than average, but nothing crazy. I'll talk about, I get lucky, I get very lucky later, and I'll definitely make sure to point that out. I think it's, it's, it's interesting that, I mean, if you don't know, if it's hard, to, if you don't know what's going on, it's hard to track, and you don't really, it's hard to tell uh, at a high level when you're getting lucky, so I think it's interesting if I point out, like, at this point, I get stupid lucky, and I skip a bunch of stuff, but, um, all right, so I finished the first two centers, what do I do next? Orange, orange, right? What am I doing? This is very interesting. Okay, so this is interesting. So this is a pretty tricky spot, actually. Oh, whoops. This is a pretty tricky spot to be in just because there's a lot of options. So, uh, as you notice, I immediately saw orange. I mean, look at this. This is, this I would consider lucky. It's not crazy, but this is definitely a good orange case. When you turn and you see this, this is good. Because you got, you got this right here. This is four pieces. This is one move away from a bar. This, this case right here um, is very nice because you can pair this corner to make your first bar. And then with this piece right here matched with these three and this one that makes your second bar i should have done this i think i did not and uh that was a mistake i do not i honestly do not know okay so i made i made the first bar on left what do i do That was weird. Okay, honestly, that was stupid. Um, but it worked out because orange is so easy anyways. There's just a lot of pieces hanging around, so it worked out. But honestly, that was pretty stupid. I'm like, that was not smart. This is all right. Making the middle bar. Uh, it would have been probably, like, anything difficult now is kind of rooted in the fact that I made the mistake earlier. Um, this is smart. This is nice. So right here, um, this, it's not a big deal. Like, this is just kind of my thought process. I've... At this point, I've already noticed, like right here, and boom. I know this case, I know what's gonna happen in this case, because you see that these two match up with these two quite nicely, and then this centerpiece has just gotta move over to where this red one is. But I know, I've seen this case a million times, I know what to do. You pair up the center with here first, and then, it's not too advanced, but just kind of, uh, this wasn't like something I figured out on the fly, like this is this has been done, a, I've done it a hundred times, like thousands of times. Right here, this isn't the greatest. You got two corners and you got this edge over here, so you have to separate them to get this all in the same bar, which isn't isn't ideal, but you know, it works out. Cause you see here, we make the middle piece. There's a lot of moves to this last bar. It's really unfortunate. This orange bar, bar or orange center should be a bit faster, actually. I mean, it's obviously a lot easier to sit here in slow-mo and and now like reconstruction and watch this as opposed to like doing it in real life so i'm being a little hard on myself like this is overall it's pretty solid um probably gonna do blue blue is not too bad green looks nice but you'd have to do the rotation and i don't think it's worth it ah not smart enough i should have Ooh, wow so that's pretty nice so as you can see here i probably got flustered or I probably got surprised because i was like i haven't looked at the u layer yet so i see blue i make the first bar on left not the greatest but you know whatever um, and then, boom, this is nice. So the first thing I can see here is that you got these four pieces here matched with this last one makes the bar. Um, and you can make this bar while preserving these three pieces. And this other corner piece will be a quick R wide three U prime R wide three prime away from being matched up back together. So I'll, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. Um, this is definitely the best option. It's always nice, like, as like I've been saying or said a couple of times, um, seeing... Like, being able to see something after the fact is a million times easier. If I can see, if I look, if I'm looking at this case slowly, like, I have, like, 30 seconds to process this one case, and I'm like, this is the best option, and then I do it in the heat of the moment, that's a, that's pretty impressive. Like, that, I'm very happy with that, because you can't expect yourself to make the perfect decision every time. You want to, obviously, but, like, if you did make the right decision, that's very good. So, right here... Um, then I, right here, doing the middle bar or the outer bar, not a big difference. Um, I think they're both fine. Yep. 
Uh, this is fine. I probably should have pulled out these two pieces instead, but I pulled out these pieces. Not a big deal. What the... Oh, now I'm building the center bar. I shouldn't have built center bar first, but it's okay. Actually, it works out fine, because now this matches up quickly. Matches up with this one real quickly. Very nice. And I think I'm about to get pretty lucky. Uh, never mind. So right here, this is not the... It's like, I, mean, I think it's set, like the last few center cases are going to look easy because there's only two colors. What am I doing? Okay, so I'll probably get a little flustered here. There's definitely a better option versus, uh, I mean, this is an official solve. Like, it's my last, like, it's the last solve of the world record mean. Um, and, like, my first two solves are right on the mean, so I'm, like, really nervous in this solve. But I'm making qu quick decisions. They're not always the best, but I'm making them quick. So then. This is where we get lucky. This is lucky because this is lucky because a I didn't do the ideal center in this case. I probably should have made this bar here first, and then or I should have looked at the U face probably to see what was really there. But I go ahead and I make this middle bar. And then we look up and oh, very nice. We're going to finish our next two bars very quickly because it is a three move insert into two bars being done. This is lucky. Um, no, nothing to say about that. Do I really do an X and then a U prime, U prime? That's weird. Uh, this is a pretty standard last two edge, last two center case. Um, I do something smart here. This is, this is actually a good idea. So you're doing F2. Um, so right here, this is smart because you see we got this case right here and we're gonna use these two pieces and these three pieces to make our center, our next bar. And it's important that we use these two pieces as opposed to one of these pieces because if you use one of these pieces, we then break up these already being together. And I'm not smart enough to know what's exactly gonna happen if I do break them up, if other ones are gonna match up together. And I know for sure I can keep these two together and that way I'm gonna force one commutator case. Doing middle bar first on 7x7 is not that rare because you're going to have to do... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, ignore what I just said. <laughs> okay, ignore what I just said because I, didn't, I, then forced, I then forced myself into a double comma. Holy crap, I'm an idiot. This is painful to watch. Oh my god. I literally just said what was the ideal scenario and then I do this stupid moronic... Oh god. And see, I do two commutators. Pretty stupid of me. Um... Right here, save these two together, probably do red and blue first. Red and blue, um, not going to be as much, I think edges are just smooth. Uh, oh, I saw that, that was pretty good. Blue and yellow. Oh, I saw the back edge. Oh, wait, okay, so now if we, we want to really be able to see the back edges, because I'm looking at it like this now. Right, I thought, I was thinking like, man, I'm not seeing that much stuff. So this is interesting, I I do, I cancel a Y2 cube rotation. I use the Y2 cube rotation that I'm already going to be doing to do a safer slice, which is nice. Standard stuff, red and yellow, right? Yep. What? Oh, red and white's fine, so that was a fine decision. That's because I already have that right there. Man, I'm nervous. I'm missing a lot of turns. Red and yellow was also pretty good beforehand. Wonder if I do it now. If I didn't remember it. Oh, never mind. White and yellow. White and it's probably gonna be white. It's much harder to tell from this angle what I'm thinking. Like it was easier on centers. Oh, okay, I'm doing blue and orange. Find the piece, man. All right, so this is good. Uh, this is the only thing I really noticed. It's hard, really hard to tell now. So I definitely remember that I have these two white and oranges back here. I see these white and oranges right here, so I'm definitely doing white and orange next. And this lines up right here. Boom, insert, flip, slice. This is a quick slice up slice to finish this. And I got orange and yellow here. Or I got another, I got other options. I got, if I do orange and yellow, that's good. And then finish that one up. Finish orange and yellow. Probably gonna do green and yellow next. Or, oh, green and orange is easy. Accidentally do a U wide. Yep, 
I'm an idiot. Holy, yeah, look at that. Oh, the insert and then the flip. Oh, God, I'm so bad. Whew. Uh, okay, here we go. You can just see how many extra moves. I don't do this many extra moves in my normal saws, but I do do a lot of extra moves. Insert here. I should do red and green, right? Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Red and green is probably... Oh, okay, never mind. Green and white was... There we go. And now this is where I get pretty lucky. So I already got lucky on centers. My mediocre centers ended up being pretty uh, being 59 because I got some easy cases. But right here... So at this point, I know the solve is pretty good. I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. I'm like, it's probably going to be world record average. Solve's feeling like a 204, 205. I need like a 212 for average. I was like, maybe single, but like... It's probably, I was like, it's probably single. Well, actually, I, actually, I think I was like pretty confident. As a world record single, definitely average. Um, but now we got this. So let's look at our let's look at our case right here. Actually, let's look at the case we got. Oh wait, no, fix centers. Okay, so let's look at what we got. We got. Oh, how do I drag this around properly? Okay, we got this. This is easy. Um, it's gonna be a cycle plus a flip, or it's this is a one this is one slice of slice away from being solved. Uh, with this piece, you do you move these two layers over, and then this layer, and you do a flip, and you move it back. That is that. This is pretty easy. Also, it's not great. Uh, and then with matched up with this, this is a cycle. This is these these four pieces will match up with a cycle, and you only need one other cycle to solve that. And then this. This is probably the worst edge, but it's still pretty good because slice of slice will solve four of these pieces. So very good last four edge case. It's not the best, but this is probably like 80, 90 percentile in terms of like what you're looking for in a last four edge case. This is where most. This is where the solve turned from like 204, 205 to 159. Actually, this is where it turned from 204 to what should have been like a 156. But um, let's see what I do. I do. Yep. So right here, important. I do that cycle. This is, okay, this is, oh god, I'm happy with myself. This is good. Um, so this is probably the best, I actually see this last for edge case, I do the best option. I'm very happy with myself. I cycle this, and so what I do here is I get two edges in four, to have four pieces correct. So boom, cycle the green and yellow, boom, red and yellow now are slice up, slice away. Do the slice up, slice. This is okay because... It's not perfect. You can still get a little more mileage out of your slice up slices if you're doing two two layers at once, but this is still good because it just gets the edge out of the nut way. I'm really nervous. I'm like, we'll just do it. Um, and then I'm gonna cycle the green and yellow edge. Ooh, I'm not. Oh, this is even better. Oh man. I see that a slice up slice will finish that with no parity, so I go ahead and do it. Uh, is that better? Okay. I don't know if it's better. I think that if we're talking about like my 6x6 six six edges I've been talking about a lot, I wouldn't do that. This is just kind of seeing an easy case and getting it done. Which I don't think in this case is the worst, but I think more developed. Eventually this won't be the greatest. And then I do a slice of slice to finish off that. I do another slice of slice to finish there. And then we're going to see the most disgusting 3x3 stage anyone has ever seen in their lives. This is painful. First of all, not the best way to do cross. First pair is fine. Second pair is fine. And then, and then this is where the solve goes from being 156 to being 159. <laughs> yeah, probably 157, but like, I have no idea what I'm thinking here. This is clearly the or the white orange and green corner like it's obvious to anyone who's done like thousands of solves that this can't be the this this green sticker means that this one orange is on bottom because of color scheme like i'm so nervous for some reason i just like i i, I don't i don't oh wait i did okay never mind i did know that i did know that but first of all i'm doing my u4 what is it it's a u prime u prime u prime u prime u prime u so i do a u4 and then i do a u very nice so I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to take this out. I'm supposed to do another U. Or, I, I I don't know why. This is supposed to, this edge is supposed to be here, which will then lead to a three-move insert. I don't know. And then, for some reason, I just, I do it wrong, and then I just continue, I just continue with the mistake as if, like, that was right. Like, oh, God. 
And then I do another U4, and then I fix it. <laughs> so bad. Uh, but whatever. Luckily here, I make sure to orient some edges. I don't get a dot case. Uh, and then the rest of the solve is fine. Uh, luckily, I got a 6-move six six move OLL. And then I got an A-perm. Used the wrists on my A-perm to make sure that I uh, wristed the A-perm. Don't want to be too risky. And then U2. Surprise it in plus 2. And... 159.95. Uh, no regrets. Obviously, like, you take any solve apart slowly, you're going to find a bunch of mistakes or things that you didn't do optimally. Uh, in general, that solve was really good, obviously. It was quality, up until the end, it was probably quality of, like, 157, 156. Great solve. No regrets about that. Pretty awesome. It was 159.95. Much better than 200. Just kind of, kind of wanted to show you guys what's, like, a cool way to, like, you can look at your solves. I think there's a lot that you can learn. I think there's a ton that you can learn by rewatching your solves, your own solves, other people's solves. Even if you're at the highest level, I think there's a lot to learn by watching other people's solve. I've looked at Felix's videos. I'm gonna start taking more looks at other high-level cubing videos, kind of see what other people are doing, because there are a lot of things that you do correctly that they don't. There are a lot of things they do correctly that you don't, and you obviously want to do everything correctly so you can kind of combine everything. And the easiest way is instead of figuring it out yourself, just like be like, oh, you already do this, so I'm just gonna copy it. Like that's kind of how progression works. So, uh, yeah, that was this solve, great solve. Thanks, Breast, again for reconstructing, and um, yeah.